San Francisco Bay Area psychotherapist Marvin Trager saw Shunyun Performing Arts at the SHN Orpheum Theater on Thursday. He described how he found out about the show. I was walking down the street and I saw the magnificent poster for this show. I knew nothing about Shen Yu. And uh, I said, that was like the essence of beauty, was that the color and the movement and the grace and the elegance. And I thought, uh, we have to see it. I have to see it. We have to see it. And so uh, we got tickets and are very, very happy. And we're very surprised. Shun Yun showcases 5,000 years of traditional Chinese culture. It was uh, bringing forth the, the teachings of awakening uh, and in the most beautiful way and showed it, it, how it was, it's been a part of China so, for so forever. And um, uh, so I was extremely pleased and, and surprised. I never expected that. And uh, so I, f I feel like I fell into some kind of heaven. And everything about it uh, is, is so universal. I thought it was well, well put together. Uh, so that was a real pleasure. The performance had deep meaning for Mr. Trigger. Well, to me, the culture, uh, you know, uh, there, is a, there is a way that when one looks at the moon, the awakened moon, and, and the universals, but can find them in the beauty and the detail of life itself, in the, in the color, in the grace, in the costume, in the, in the movement, in all of the performers and the orchestra. These two things meet, you know? They meet in the moment, and, and it was uh, just a, a, a great gift to be here and a great blessing. Shun Yun has a universal appeal for audiences, whatever their background and culture. I would love to get my friends, whatever their persuasion, whatever their religion, whatever, they are going to love this. They're going to love it for the, for the folk, for the, for the culture, for the, um, for the, for the movement. Shun Yun's final performance in San Francisco is on March 24th. The company's next stop on their tour of the U.S. will be Seattle, opening March 28th. NTD, San Francisco.